All right, hopefully you can see, sort of see the river. So we're gonna do a little, something a little different. I'm going to tie a fly on the tailgate of my truck. There's hoppers everywhere out here and I'm a little thin on them. So we're gonna tie a fly, show you how to do it. And then we're gonna go catch a big old brown on it. Okay, welcome to an episode of our on-site fly tying video. We're in beautiful Utah getting ready to catch some big browns on hoppers. And so we're going to tie a fly and go fish with it, catch a big brown. So this is just going to be one of our foam hopper patterns. I've got a piece of foam and it's orange on the top, tan on the bottom. Most of these hoppers around here are tan. And so Typically what I like to do is I get a little bit of super glue, believe it or not, and I just coat the top of the hook with it, and then I put my hopper body about where I want it, and then I usually try to do three segments. Just like so. Cinch it down nice and tight. So that's my three segments. Next thing I do is I get some um, just regular silly legs. You can see I have some in my box. I got some olive and yellow. This one we're going to do olive. And I'm going to tie some legs on the side. And what I do is I tie them in a knot. So I get that, the look of a grasshopper basically. And I just try to get them as even as I can with the other one. I'm gonna trim off the excess of this. Oops, trim that one a little too far, didn't I? Fly tying's about improvising. All right, so we got two crazy legs there. And then what I do is I've tied them with two. I'll cut one of them off on the back. So then I've only got one leg hanging off. So it gives it that tapered look like a normal grasshopper. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some wings. And I just get any type of fly wing material or Hemingway's wings that are already pre-cut. And I like to put wings on my hoppers because I've seen enough of them land and hit the water and the fish just go crazy. So I like to put them and spread them out just a little bit so the fish can see the, the wing. Um, how do I put it? Silhouette, sorry. Just like that. So you can see we got a nice wing silhouette going for us. All right, now I need to be able to see this hopper fly. So there's two things you can do. The one is put just some, um, Parapost wing on it. That's probably the easiest on a bright day for me. For some reason, my eyes can see white better than anything. And so I'm just going to put a little gob of this on. Right on top of our hopper. like so. 
and that way I can see it floating through. The fish is going to be looking from the bottom, so he's going to see that tan. I'm not really concerned about what's on top of this hopper. Okay, and once I'm to this point, I'll actually pull up my hook, or my foam, and I'll come underneath this hopper, and we'll tie it off with our whip finisher. There's a really big brown in this hole that I stopped at and I actually broke him off the last time I was here and I can't stop thinking about him. So here we are. Okay, so now once we have that, what I like to do is I get a little marker. This is brown. And I just put a couple little hopper eyes there. See ya. And there you have it. It's got the nice wings on top. Pretty simple pattern. I don't get real complicated with my grasshoppers. I just uh, want a big tan piece of foam with wings to hit the water and they seem to chomp it right up so we're gonna go try it and see what we can do so thank you for watching this episode of Aaron at the tailgate of my pickup truck on the angler made YouTube channel There we got him. Ooh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Big old yellow belly brown. Look at him. Oh, that's a big fish. I like big browns. Oh, that's a big fish. Just fat. Oh. going underneath just like that last one did. Keep them out of there. They love getting in that bank because then they can get wrapped around. You just can't pull them. He's heavy. This is why I use flex tip it now. Otherwise I'd be broke by now. I need a net. That is how you tie a fly and catch a fish.